In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Memorare to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, our spiritual Father, and beg your protection. O foster Father of the Redeemer, despise not our petitions, but in your goodness hear and answer us. Amen. Day 29 of our consecration to St. Joseph, Hope of the Sick. God has healed many people through the intercession of St. Joseph, such as St. Therese, the Little Flower. I want to share an excerpt about St. Therese when she was a baby. Her mother had a great devotion to St. Joseph. And this is the story that we're told, that St. Therese would have died in infancy if it were not for the intercession of St. Joseph. Her parents, Louis and Zelie Martin, were very devoted to St. Joseph. Shortly after Therese was born, she became deathly ill. No one knew the cause of her illness. Her mother, having already experienced the death of several children, was greatly saddened, but was resigned to God's holy will. Fearing that little Therese was going to die, Zelie knelt before the statue of St. Joseph in her bedroom and asked the saint to heal her daughter. Miraculously, Therese was healed. And this account was written down, and we have documentation of this powerful uh, testimony of St. Joseph's intercession of healing. And so let us keep in mind that St. Joseph is our hope in times of sickness. Let us go to God, ask God through the intercession of St. Joseph to heal, to help us. We ask God to pray for those who don't have anybody to pray for them. And so as we close, let's take a moment and pause and just keep in mind, bring to your mind what it is that you want to ask God a favor for through the intercession of St. Joseph. O oh, St. Joseph, you are a man greatly favored by the Most High. The angel of the Lord appeared to you in dreams while you slept to warn you and guide you as you cared for the Holy Family. You were both silent and strong, a loyal and courageous protector. Dear St. Joseph, as you rest in the Lord, confident of his absolute power and goodness, look upon us. Please take our needs into your heart, dream of them, and present them to your Son. Help us then, good St. Joseph, to hear the voice of God, to arise and act with love. We praise and thank God with joy. St. Joseph, we love you. Amen.